There we go guys, that is how you get your photos looking like Benjamin Hardman, guys. Look at that photo, let's just do a quick before and after just so you can see the before and after, just to see how much I've managed to change this photo. So if you want to know how to do this, watch the entire video, I cannot stress that enough. If you don't watch the entire video, you've got bigger problems um, than you have when it comes to editing photos in Lightroom. Okay? If you can't watch the end of the video, you're certainly going to struggle um, editing your photos and getting better and becoming as good as Benjamin when it comes to editing your photos in Lightroom. So make sure you watch the entire thing and learn as much as you possibly can. Okay, so let's just reset this image and let's start from scratch, guys. So, reset, we're going to come up to our crop tool and we're going to want to just to split this down to a 4x5 aspect ratio. Now the reason behind that is just because that is the aspect ratio we use when we post to Instagram. Okay, you can see the same aspect ratio. Awesome, okay, so make sure you're paying attention guys. Bring up your exposure to plus 0.15, okay? And this is just to start brightening up the image here. Let's just speed this up just by typing in 0.15, there we go. Right, contrast, we want to start bringing that up. Just add in that dark blacks and those really bright whites. Um, then do the same with our highlights, bring that up to about plus 40, um, and then with our shadows, we're going to want to bring that up to about plus 50. Leave the whites and the blacks as they are. If anything, maybe just drop the blacks just a touch, not too much. Bring up our clarity to about plus 15, um, plus 10, I think, might be okay. Let's see if we, well, if we can get away with any more. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, vibrancy, let's just drop that down to around minus 20, okay? Not too much, but we don't want to have too much saturation in our photos. Okay, guys, look, this is what's going to change the entire image, okay, the tone curve. So if you want to get better at editing in Lightroom, Watch to the end because that's where I'm going to teach you how to change the entire image with a tone curve. That's coming up right at the end of the video, so you'll be rewarded with that if you pay attention. Okay, guys, next up we've got the HSL sliders. This is going to be where the image really starts getting those right colors that we're looking for. So we want to be aiming for this green here. So what we want to do is get our yellow slider, bring it down to about, let's say, minus 30, minus 40, um, and then bring up our green to about plus 20. Okay, not looking exactly the same at the moment, um, but trust me, we're going to get there, um, especially when we come down to our um, these two here. Okay, next up, we've got the saturation. Now, with the yellows, we're going to want to bring our saturation up to about plus 50. Okay, let's just bring that up. I think that's probably good, good there, maybe a tiny bit more. Um, and then our greens, we're going to want to bring that up to plus 100. Boom, guys, we've already bought out a lot of saturation there out of the greens, okay? That's what we're going for. You can see how bright these greens are. Right at the bottom, they're really, really quite bright. And we're going to do that by getting our luminance, and we're going to bring that all the way out to plus 100 there, okay? You see how much that's brightened up the greens? Let's just do a quick before and after so you can see the difference that we've made so far. So keep watching, guys. Don't leave, okay? Aqua, down to the bottom. Blue, down to the bottom. We don't want any of those blues in there. We want to make sure this is nice and black, just like the bottom down here. Okay, so before I jump into the split turning, guys, I've got a really, really quick question for you. I want to know if you're struggling to edit your photos in Lightroom. Okay, have you been struggling for ages and ages and ages? Whatever you do, you just cannot get it right. You've been trying to get photos, your photos that might look exactly like this when you took it out of the camera, but how hard you're trying, you just can't get the right edit within Lightroom or within Photoshop. Okay, if that's you, trust me, I know exactly how you feel because I was in exactly the same place five years ago when I started my YouTube channel. So look, this is just make sure you're paying attention, but look, this is me here on the right, or my right, and this is Sebastian over here. Now we've got over 140,000 subscribers, and I've learned exactly how to edit our photos properly. Okay, so if you want to learn from someone like me, A, make sure you watch these videos, but B, also guys, you can get my Lightroom presets, okay? They are 99 cents, reduced from $70. Okay, I want to give back to you guys, and I want to make sure you get better at editing your photos in Lightroom. The link is down below in the video. You can get 50 Lightroom presets, okay? You can get the exact preset that I edit in this photo, 50 Lightroom presets, 20 Photoshop overlays, uh, 20 Photoshop actions rather than 10 Photoshop overlays, just to help you get started in Photoshop as well. Okay, so if you want to get like Benjamin Hartman and you really want to take your skills to the next level and maybe you want to end up like us two, go ahead and check out those presets. They're the step in the right direction. It's probably the first thing you want to go ahead um, and use to make sure your skills get better. So there we go, guys. Let's just start moving back on with the video, shall we, and get back to the split toning. Okay, so we're going to leave our highlights. We don't need our highlights, okay? We haven't got any colors in our whites up here. It's exactly the same. Just leave it white. Next up, the shadows. We have got a little bit of blue in our shadows, okay? So what we want to do is hold down our Alt key, drag it up to about 230, I think, um, and then add in those blues into the shadows. Scroll all the way down to your grain and add in a little bit of grain, okay? We don't want loads, but we do want a little bit. And then bring up the roughness or the size 
um, as well, just so we can start seeing a little bit of grain there. Just make it noticeable, okay? It doesn't have to be huge. If anything, let's just add in a tiny bit more. There we go, that looks good. Okay, next up is gonna be the camera calibration. Really simply, just bring up your red primary to the right. Then we wanna bring down our green primary, okay? To the left, we're just trying to push our greens more towards this color here. And then what we wanna do is we wanna get our blue primary and bring that up to the right just a tiny bit, not too much. Okay, if anything, get our saturation of our greens and bring those up there as well. Okay, now what we can do is a final adjustment. We're gonna to wanna to make sure we bring up our shadows just a tiny bit more, just to brighten up those greens to make sure we replicate this look that Benjamin's got in his photo. Okay guys, so you've watched pretty much until the end, so I'm gonna show you how to use a tone curve to really change this entire image. So this is where the fun happens, okay? So first things first, get your points. One point there, one point there, and one point there. This is a three point tone curve, okay? Very simple adjustment, bring up your highlights, Start brightening up those highlights, make those highlights pop. Get your whites and drag that down. We don't want super, super bright whites. Then what you wanna do is you wanna get your blacks, okay? Bring those up, add in some fade into the photo. Just like Benjamin's got a lot of fade in his black here, that's what we wanna be doing. But our blacks aren't dark enough, so what we wanna do is get our shadows and drop those down a little bit, okay? And then get our mid-tones and bring those up. See how cool that looks at the moment, guys? Um, and then what you want to do is you want to start playing around until you make sure you get a nice middle ground between everything. Okay, so there we go. We're really getting towards the look we're going towards. There we go. We've got that nice sharp green here. We've got those dark faded blacks. Pretty much almost done, except I'm going to show you a top secret trick that you can go ahead and get these cloud effects. Okay, so this is really super awesome cloud effect. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that within Lightroom. Super, super awesome, so keep watching. First of all, get your brush tool. Right, drop your exposure to zero, take your dehaze up, drop your shadows all the way down to minus 100. Now this is just to make sure we get those dark blacks, okay? So brush over your mountains here, just to get those dark blacks. Do the same on this mountain, bring down those blacks, just the same as the foreground. That's gonna really help as well with our fade that we've added in, it's gonna add a really cool effect to the photo. Next up, let's add in some clouds, shall we? Get your graduated filter, bring it down just like this, leave your shadows, bring your dehaze down to minus 100, and then whack up your exposure to about plus three or plus four. Then what you wanna do is just bring this down, okay? Bring it down towards the tips of your mountains. There we go, look at that. Doesn't that look like the mountains are just sitting, nestled in very thick fog or very low cloud cover? See how easy that was? Bring up the exposure, drop the dehaze, drag down the graduated filter, and you've got yourself some low clouds. The further down you bring it, the lower your clouds, okay? See here, looks like we've got some look. You can go ahead and use those uh, Photoshop overlays that you can go ahead and get with the link down below. You can get some cloud overlays, you can get some cloud brushes as well, um, just to help you add in some really cool clouds over the top of your image. So there we go guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully now you know how to edit in the style of Benjamin Hardman and get this super, super cool, moody, high saturated look. Right, with this fade down here, this contrast. It's a super cool edit, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you go ahead and check out that link down below if you do want to go ahead and get better in Lightroom. But if not, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.